Hey everybody, if you are plugged into the world of high-end audio, then you will definitely recognize the name Focal. This video is all about our favorite headphone models and Focal's refreshed lineup of open back and closed back headphones, plus all the new updates that Focal has added to each model. Starting from the least expensive to the most expensive, the four headphones we will be looking at here are the new Focal Celesti, the Focal Clear MG, the Stelia, and the Focal Utopia 2020. We're going to dive into each one and compare them based on sound and their defining qualities. Each headphone is offered at different price points, each possessing unique features and advantages to fit every listener's taste. So if you're here in search of an exceptional sounding headphone and have the budget to back it, then Focal's over-the-ear headphones will deliver some of the most detailed and immersive listening experiences you will find. So let's get started. All right, now, before we begin, Focal got started back in 1979, and they've crafted a wide range of luxury-grade audio equipment, everything from world-class loudspeakers and some of the best audiophile headphones in the world. Now, every product Focal makes is fully designed and produced in their own facilities in France, and this is to ensure optimal consistency and quality. When it comes to their headphones, they are all hand-built from fine premium materials in the same Burgundy France-based facility as Focal's most expensive flagship model, which has been refreshed as the Focal Utopia 2020 kit. Now, Focal uses the same headband, ear cups, and yoke in each model, except for the Utopia, which uses carbon fiber to offset the weight of the dedicated motor structures. So if you're considering an open back or a closed back headphone from Focal, it's really cool to see how some of the build quality from the flagship model trickles down across the entire lineup. Starting with the open back models first. For less than $1,500, the most recent addition to the lineup is the Focal Clear MG. In case you aren't familiar with open back headphones and their distinct advantages, the open back design can be identified by its open drivers on the sides of the ear cups. And this gives the sound a more spacious feeling and a wider soundstage that can get pretty close to the same sense of presentation you get from a pair of loudspeakers. You can read everything there is to know about open back versus closed back headphones for more on this. And we have a link to that article in the description. Now, the original Focal Clear was one of our top selling headphones and it quickly became our go-to for an open back design. It did a fantastic job of creating a wide and defined soundstage without sacrificing low end. The original Clear featured a 40 millimeter driver made from a combination of magnesium and aluminum. However, the Focal Clear MG has been retuned with a new speaker driver material. And after four years of research and development, Focal developed the all magnesium full range driver for this new one, hence the name Clear MG. Now this new alloy allows the speaker driver to be even lighter than it was before and more rigid than the original aluminum magnesium driver. And this gives the Clear MG the ability to produce frequencies from five hertz all the way up to 28 kilohertz with better dynamics down to the micro detail. The impedance on the Clear MG is 55 ohms, which means this one can be powered using a portable audio player like your smartphone or laptop without needing to connect it up with a headphone amp. However, I highly recommend a good DAC headphone amp to hear the full potential of this one. When testing it, I immediately noticed how comfortable they are. The ear pads and the headband feature a fine chestnut leather and perforated microfiber memory foam designed to fit firmly while also remaining breathable and soft. This means you can wear them for hours without any sense of discomfort. Like all the headphones in this comparison, the ear cups have a standard vertical pivot while the yoke allows them to rotate laterally for a proper fit that hugs just about any head shape. And I really like the cool honeycomb pattern that decorates the ear cups on this one, but the sound of the Clear MG makes them worth every penny. Since the original Clear already reproduced a pure, effortless, realistic sound, just think of even more impactful music, revealing even more. That means more precise micro details, more realism, and more accurate dynamics hiding in the wide open soundstage. These are incredibly balanced, 
to test the clear MG, I connected it up to a Core Mojo and then followed it up with the Mark Levinson number 519 to demonstrate a popular setup compared to a luxury setup. On both of these, I played a mix of jazz, acoustic rock, and EDM. But the standout genre to my ears was jazz. These headphones created a beautiful soundstage and let me hear deep into the fine musical details. They actually sounded fantastic with just about anything we played and they're probably the best value in the group. Okay, continue on to the path of open backs. The Utopia 2020 kit is the Clear MG's bigger brother and Folk House flagship open back model. For less than $4,500, these headphones are not for those on a budget. However, they use the same ideas from their already great sounding Clear MG and then they take that performance to the next level. Besides the new packaging, as a bonus, the new Utopia 2020 kit is now bundling some high-end accessories including a leather owner's manual wallet, updated cables, and a lightweight rigid carrying case that's similar to the other headphone cases in the lineup. Now at an impedance of 80 ohms, the Utopia 2020 requires a headphone amp to get it to a listening volume that reveals their jaw dropping dynamics. The reason the headphones are so tough to drive is the combination of a monolayer voice coil, the magnets, and their beryllium M-shaped dome full range drivers. The results are a headphone that can drop down to five hertz and reach as high as 50 kilohertz far beyond our range of hearing and even higher than what some studio microphones can even capture. With their ability to reproduce such wide frequency extremes, the range of human hearing they cover in the middle is just amazingly effortless. The bass is so palatable, you can almost feel it. Instruments like pianos, harps, cymbals, brass, and especially the bass really come alive. To many, $4,400 sounds unbelievable for a headphone, but most who hear the Utopia 2020 with the proper headphone amp will agree that they are like no other. Besides just the technical advancements in this one, Focal put forth some extra effort to make sure these headphones are some of the most comfortable on the market. The Utopia only weighs about a pound and they feature perforated ultra soft lambskin leather on the ear cups and headband for extended breathability but the sound from these headphones will simply blow you away. All these headphones do an astonishing job of recreating music with amazing detail, but the Utopia delivers an experience that most people have never heard. Testing it, I used the same power sources as the previous test, but I also connected this one up to the Name V1 DAC headphone amp in our Utopia 2020 review, and you'll read more about that if you check that in the description. And while all of these power the headphones pretty well, the Utopia's full potential could be heard once I connect it to the Mark Levinson number 519. And I think this combination placed me in the song so I could hear details I have not experienced before. With the open back design, the sound gave me a spacious, room-filling illusion. One of the surprising songs that stood out to me was the Punch Brothers title track, All Ashore. At the start of the song, there's a banjo accompanied by a mandolin. And on the mandolin strings, you can actually hear the details of the pick lightly scraping and popping as it comes off the strings. When I tested this with other headphones, I could hear the sound, but without the same amount of detail. If you're looking for hyper-realistic, immersive sound and looking at high-end open back headphones, you have our approval to splurge the extra dollars on the Utopia 2020. Okay. Moving on to the closed back design, the Focal Celesti is another retuned headphone. This one was inspired by the Focal Elysia, which was Focal's first full size closed back headphone. The original goal of the Elysia was to create a headphone that was isolating but still retained the sound quality of the more expensive open back models and even borrowing from their structures and materials. The Celesti has an impedance of 35 ohms, so this one can be powered by a laptop or a smartphone. Although it's an important benefit, portability wasn't the most important thing in creating the Celesti. The sound had to not only meet Focal's standards, but it also had to improve on its predecessor. So Focal retuned the Celesti with more emphasis on the lower end frequencies, which was a popular request by many Elysia owners. 
Now, Focal added their special 40 millimeter M-shaped aluminum magnesium driver, which is a similar loudspeaker to the Focal Clear. Now, this driver material is not as premium as the pure beryllium or even the all magnesium drivers used in their most luxurious models. However, if you are wanting the Focal sound profile for use on the go or even at home, I think the Celesti is a fantastic choice for less than $1,000. The Celesti keeps the astounding detail the others have, but without the same design and driver combination as the others in the lineup. They don't present quite the same soundstage. And with that being said, I think this retuned design allows the Celesti to be much warmer and deliver more articulated, deeper low end than the Elysia, which is a plus if you're someone who likes to kick back and get lost in the music while doing so without disturbing others. Their closed back design really seals in the sound, now the Celesti also features navy blue finishes on the ear pads, the headband, and the yoke with copper details that decorate the speaker driver grills, the cable connectors, and the rings. Overall, they keep the same cushion comfort as the others in the lineup and they weigh just under a pound. So I think these are very comfortable. Now I tested this one with four different power sources. The two from the other tests and I also added the AudioQuest Dragonfly Cobalt and a laptop as that is probably a more typical use case. I tested them using a lot of different genres including various synth and electronic based songs and the results incrementally stepped up as I went through the sources. With the laptop, the higher frequencies were chopped up just a bit and while the bass response was better than the Elysia, it was still not the full Focal sound that you come to expect. After moving to the AudioQuest Dragonfly, those tones really started to be revealed clearly and with more detailed treble and much more accurate bass. When I moved to the Mojo, these headphones started to really shine, delivering dynamics and vocal nuances that made the acoustic song sound intimate and personal. Taking the leap to the Mark Levison number 519 polished the sound, but it wasn't quite the jump that I heard from the others in the lineup, and that may be due to their lower impedance or the qualities associated with their driver. Overall, the Focal Celesti does have an amazing soundstage that is hard to find in other closed back headphones with good detail and tight, accurate, deep bass. I think if you're a person who loves over-accented heavy low end, these might not be the headphones for you, but if you want warmth, then they'll be perfect. Now for our last headphone, we have the Focal Stelia. This headphone is one of the most impressive headphones I have tried, and not just for a closed back. Focal made these with some of the same portable standards as the Celesti, but they went all out with the sound, which makes these absolutely remarkable. While they are set at a high price point of $3,000, they are worth every bit if you're a headphone enthusiast. The Focal Stelia shares the same beryllium full range driver as the Utopia 2020, but with the impedance of the Celesti. I didn't know what to expect out of a closed back headphone with a beryllium dome, but after letting these break in for around 50 hours, I started my testing with the Cord Mojo and I was immediately blown away. I played Pink Floyd's Time, and that's when I realized these were something special. There's a part in the song where there's these ticking clocks and deep drums that become three-dimensional and every detail revealed itself in its wide sense of presentation. At about the 220 mark, I could hear David Gilmour's voice floating right in front of me. The low end on the Stelia is strong and tight without being overpowering, similar to a high quality floor standing speaker, while the highs are clear and defined without being piercing. Now to test the sound stage next, I moved up to the Mark Levinson and played Yossi Horikawa's Bubbles. The song starts with what sounds like ping pong balls, marbles and kick balls bouncing around on concrete towards you. Now, when you use high quality headphones, you get a sense of space and you can almost point to where each bounce is. With the isolation and detail of these, they make you feel like you're part of the show. If you're searching for a perfect pair of closed back headphones, the Focal Stelia is your answer. The design and construction follow the same path as the other Focal lineup, but adds a Cognac and mocha finish with full grain leather cushions on the ear pads and headband. Now, I think these are just as comfortable as the Utopia 2020 and the overall design and color make these an immediate eye catcher. 
I mean, these headphones make you want to sit down and listen to a full album after playing just one song. Each of these headphones has its own price point and defining qualities to fit your style of listening and your lifestyle. Vocal's entire lineup is the result of 40 years of innovation and craftsmanship, and any headphones of theirs will be an impressive addition to your setup. If you've been looking for high quality, comfortable, and great sounding headphones, strongly consider any one of these. All right, now that concludes our take on the refreshed lineup of audiophile grade headphones from Focal. If you're still trying to decide which one is right for you, we have a detailed individual review on each model that go much deeper into the performance and our evaluations. And you'll also find the links to all of those reviews in the description. But if you have any questions on how a pair of Focal headphones will fit into your system and your listening style, just give us a call, chat with us on audiovice.com, or just stop into one of our award-winning showrooms. We'll be happy to help you find the right pair for you. All right, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and also check out our playlist section on our YouTube channel to easily find all the content you're looking for. We come out with new videos just like this one on a weekly basis, so hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and you won't miss the latest home audio or home theater content. We'll see you next time.